Hey friends, thanks so much for watching. Today's video is a relaxing clean with me, a little cleaning and a little baking to help you unwind for the night. Today's video is also a collaboration with Amber Stoffel. She is a mom of three and also makes amazing cleaning motivation on her channel. I will have her channel linked in my description box. And if Amber sent you here, thanks for being here and I hope you'll consider subscribing. Let's go ahead and get started. I am starting off my relaxing cleaning routine by lighting a candle here from White Barn. This is a cinnamon spice vanilla candle. It smells so delicious. I'm gonna be baking a little bit later in today's video. And if you're not baking, this gives you the perfect smells of baking without actually having to make anything. cleaning up all of the dinner dishes here before I get started on wiping down the countertops and making sure this kitchen is back in order. like this video please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already you can head on over to Instagram and follow me there as well at Mayor Haney I usually post daily cleaning motivation and other homemaking hacks for you guys as well I wanted to show you guys this super cute bar glass that I have. It has a bunch of different fun beverages on the side and exactly the measurements to make them. Oh, such a cute idea. I'm just going in with my Mrs. Meyers multi-surface spray and a microfiber cloth to wipe down the countertops now. I'm using the Mrs. Meyers spray in the mint scent, which I have never used before and I love how fresh it smells. Now doing the same thing in the bathroom, just wiping down the countertop to keep things clean. I am also using the Mrs. Meyers multi-surface spray in here as well. And then I'm going to go back in with an anti-back spray, spray that over the surface. And the key to an anti-back is letting it sit for at least 10 minutes before you wipe it down. So you'll see me do that here. And if you guys want to know where I get all of my cleaning products, I always have a link in my description box to the Grove Collaborative, which is where I buy all of my products from. If you guys use my referral code, then you will get $35 worth of free products when you place your first order. Definitely a great deal you don't want to miss out. coronavirus stuff going around I just don't want to take any chances I feel like I've been cleaning my toilet and other surfaces that are touched on the daily basis more regularly than I ever have before so I usually do this at least once if not twice a week just out of precaution and it's really made a huge difference in keeping my house clean
include a little clip of me washing my hands to show you guys the proper way to wash your hands. Please make sure you're getting in between those fingers. And the most important part is actually drying your hands off. You can leave a lot of bacteria by not properly drying off your hands after you wash. And now we're moving on to my favorite part of the evening, which is baking. I am using this Betty Crocker cinnamon streusel muffin mix, preheating my oven to 400 degrees. And then these are all the things that you need to make this mix. It is super easy. I have my muffin mix in the blue bowl, and then I have a quarter cup of vegetable oil, three quarters of a cup of water, and two eggs. I also have a glass of wine because of course it wouldn't be baking if I didn't pour myself a little bit of wine to have while I do this as well. combining all of these ingredients into my bowl and giving them a good stir until everything is thoroughly mixed. You don't want to over mix your muffin mix too much. This next part I am using a cookie scoop to just scoop in the batter directly into my cupcake liners. Sometimes I use my silicone liners. If you guys watched my 50 Amazon purchases video then you would have seen the silicone cupcake liners. I really like to use those but mostly for eggs or things that are really really hard to get off of a cupcake tin. So here I'm just using regular old paper liners and making sure that they're at least three quarters of the way full. Put the streusel on top, just sprinkled it, and now I'm popping it into the oven and baking it for about 50 minutes. And while those are baking, I'm gonna get started on some other things like running the dishwasher and making my bed.
honestly, one of my favorite parts about making my bed in the evening is how inviting it looks and I couldn't wait to get in it, but I had to get these muffins out of the oven first. And then once they were cooled, I put them on this cake stand so that they were all ready for the next morning. And that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And if Amber sent you from her channel, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Please consider subscribing before you leave. And I will see you guys again really soon in a brand new video. Bye, guys. Thank you.